naval helicopters armed with anti-ship missiles offer strategic beyond line-of-sight engagements, ensuring safe and surprise launches from a distance, minimizing risk from enemy defenses. Crucial in maritime warfare, these helicopters swiftly engage and neutralize surface vessels, extending the effective range and acting as deterrents within naval task forces. Alongside combat roles they excel in reconnaissance and target acquisition, enhancing versatility in modern naval operations. Since the 1980s the Indian Navy has been using Sea Eagle anti-ship missile on its Westland Sea King Mark 42B multi-purpose helicopter. The Sea Eagle missile has been used by various naval forces and is designed to engage surface vessels, particularly ships. It is known for its sea skimming capability, which allows it to fly at low altitudes over the water, making it challenging for enemy defenses to detect and intercept. While the BAE Sea Eagle missile was indeed introduced in the 1980s, it doesn't necessarily mean it's obsolete or ineffective for modern use. But modern advancements in sensors, guidance systems, propulsion technologies, and countermeasures have significantly influenced the effectiveness of anti-ship missiles and other military systems. Newer missiles often benefit from improved precision, longer ranges, better target discrimination, and enhanced resistance to countermeasures compared to their older counterparts. While India already operates the most dangerous supersonic anti-ship cruise missile with wide range of operation capability, like from Navy ships, fighter jets and submarines, however, it is not modified for its naval helicopters. This is where DRDO's naval anti-ship missile comes into play. NASM is a Harpoon-class anti-ship missile with a longer range, initially designed as an air-launched, all-weather, over-the-horizon anti-ship missile, for fixed-wing fighter jets and maritime patrol aircraft. The air-launched variant will be equipped with a solid-fuel rocket booster, providing it with a longer range. A ship-launched variant of NASM-MR will also include a solid-fuel rocket booster, enabling it to be launched from frontline warships. This variant will have a significantly greater range compared to the air-launched version, reaching up to 350 kilometers. It is designed for targeting small to medium-sized warships, such as frigates, corvettes, and destroyers. The third variant is a submarine-launched version incorporating a solid-fuel rocket booster housed inside a watertight launched capsule. The range of the submarine-launched anti-ship missile may be slightly less than that of the ship-based variant, possibly around 100 kilometers less. The range of a missile is a crucial factor in determining its effectiveness. But there is also a NASM SR, which is a shorter variant. So why there is a need for a shorter range missile? This is because the development of a short range variant alongside longer range versions allows for greater flexibility in addressing diverse naval threats. Short range missiles might be more suitable for certain operational environments, while longer range missiles provide options for engagements at greater distances. They are often more cost-effective to produce and deploy than their longer-range counterparts. The warhead is designed with multi-EFP, which stands for Explosively Formed Penetrator. It is a specific kind of shaped charge that uses an explosive to deform a metal liner into a high-velocity projectile, typically in the form of a streamlined metal slug. The explosive charge is carefully shaped to focus the energy and direct the metal liner towards the target. The missile uses solid fuel, providing efficient and reliable propulsion. It can fly at altitudes ranging from 50 meters to 4 kilometers above the ground. The missile can reach a maximum speed of Mach 0.7. The missile has three key components for guidance. Inertial navigation system. Think of this as the missile's internal GPS. It constantly tracks its own movements. Altimeter with satellite guidance. The component measures altitude and receives guidance from satellites, ensuring the missile stays on the right path. Two-way data link. 
The missile can communicate back and forth with a control center, receiving real-time updates and instructions. And there you have it folks, if you enjoyed this journey through naval firepower, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more thrilling insights, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. This is Athena Defense, signing off until our next adventure in defense tech. Stay curious, and stay tuned.